just want to quickly uh, run through um, or follow up on our conversation a few weeks ago about taking title in, um, in Mexico. And there are several ways to do that. The first way is we had discussed uh, uh, previously in episode number seven uh, that we can take title as individuals. Well, there's also another way you can take title as a uh, U.S. corporation or an LLC. Um, now, two things that you have to remember when you're looking for properties. Um, first, is the property already in an LLC or does it need to be placed in an LLC? Uh, the LLC will be the owner of the property. They will be the beneficiary of the trust. And here's where the difference is. Um, if it's already in an LLC, the buyer is going to avoid having to pay the 2% transfer tax, which can save a lot of money when you're looking at a two hundred or $300,000 property. 2% uh, of that's gonna be about $4,000 or $6,000 at closing. Um, if it is not already in an LLC. So if we can find you a property that uh, owns title um, in an LLC, you can save yourself as a buyer uh, about approximately 2% of the total cost. Um, if it's not in an LLC, then we're gonna have to pay that transfer tax up front plus all the closing costs. Um, when you go to sell it, as a seller, if it's in an LLC, either if you bought it or if you, you, you put it originally in an LLC, uh, you are going to be able to save on the capital gains tax that may be imposed upon you when you go to sell. So uh, this can save you uh, a tremendous amount of money. Um, with the peso to dollar exchange rate at this point in time, uh, it's 18 to 1 right now. Um, you're looking at a, at a huge capital gains tax liability. Um, you could have purchased the property $100,000 and sold it at $100,000 and still be liable for a capital gains tax. And the reason why is that when the unit is recorded in the city registry, um, it's recorded in pesos. And then they do their calculation uh, at the current peso to dollar exchange rate, and you will be liable for approximately 35% capital gains tax when you go to sell it. So um, uh, there are not many LLCs out there, uh, properties out there that are in an LLC at this point in time. Um, so, um, you know, the tax laws could change. I've been told by uh, the attorneys that if they do change, um, that anybody that purchased uh, a unit in an LLC um, would would likely be exempt from any um, legislation that may be imposed. Anybody purchasing after the legislation was uh, uh, changed, then uh, uh, you would be uh, subject to whatever those new regulations are. So um, that's it for today. I wanted to uh, just let you know what the other opportunity was uh, in terms of taking title. The third way is in a Mexican corporation. We're going to leave that for another, uh, another episode. Uh, and as usual, take it easy. If you have any questions, please give me a call. Bye-bye.